I'm Mike from Sierra Adventure Van. We turn customers' rigs into the vehicle we know it can be. In 2020, we bought a van and needed to make some changes to it shortly after we started the business here. This was a CrossFit gym and CrossFit gyms weren't operating in 2020 during the pandemic. So we took the space over and started small, a couple vans a week. And then over time, we outgrew this space. We went from one to two vans a week to 14, 15, 16 vans a week and needed more space. So we were lucky enough to get uh, the space next door, which doubled the size of our shop. We looked at expanding the space. One of the things we talked to our landlord about is cutting a hole in the wall. And we literally drilled some holes in the wall and did some measuring before we uh, moved into the space. And so here you can see where we blasted a hole in the wall. We still got some trim to do to get this thing wrapped up. Uh, but it makes it feel like one big shop. Well, one thing we didn't want to have is two shops and two sets of crews. And, and we just wanted to make sure it felt like one shop the whole time. The relationship started with Agile when we ordered our first rib kit. You know, that first pallet showed up with the leaf springs on it and uh, the shocks in a box and the coilover kit. And we knew we had a good product to start, you know, even before we drove the van. When any Sprinter van, and certainly the Winnebago Rebel, leaves the dealer lot, the suspension is inadequate. Uh, and the symptom you'll, you'll feel is this swaying, this sort of boat feeling you get when you hit a bump, when you hit wind, when you go off road for sure. And then the way that we like to address that uh, is with a rip kit. The rip kit does a couple things. Um, the first thing it does is it adds a coilover. So this Mercedes strut um, comes from the factory with just this shaft you see going into the, the body of the strut. This coilover with a plate up top and a collar on the bottom adds some spring rate and it also adds some height um, by pushing that control arm down a bit. And then um, to increase the dampening, there's a two inch Fox shock added to the front of the Sprinter. So we've got that shock bracket and then the lower control arm bracket and this brand new two inch Fox shock in there. That's the front. So once you've addressed the front, you gotta tackle the rear. We like the rip kit solution because you get a brand new, complete leaf spring. You go from a two leaf pack to an eight leaf pack and about two inches of height. So now we're matching the front. The other upgrade that this van has that we wanted to point out is the air locker. So you'll see here, there's a new differential cover. It's got the Agile logo, of course. And inside, it's got a new ring and pinion and a new carrier that has an air locker. And the, the best way that we can sort of explain what's happening here is when you're driving your van off road and the drive shaft's spinning like it is right now, let's say this tire finds traction. Look what's happening to the other tire. It's spinning freely. So when that other tire is spinning freely, it's like spinning in a mud puddle or snow, or maybe it's hanging in the air. Now let's lock it. Now this drive shaft's gonna spin. This tire still has traction. Oh wait, it's locked. Now look, I can't even hold it. Both tires are spinning together. This tire would find traction and roll right out. Then you're getting back to camp that night instead of calling for help. We're very lucky with our geography here because Lake Tahoe has a ton of folks who like to get out and get after it. Get outside, get off road. Uh, camp, do some adventurous things. We're also supported pretty well by the Bay Area. So there's just several million people live right down the hill from us who come up here on the weekend or want to spend time outside or maybe have a home here. And that's been a large um, portion of our customer base. Our customers also are our community through Facebook groups, through local meetups, uh, even the ski resort parking lot. If you were to come up here on a, on a winter weekend and go to Alpine Meadows or Palisades, it's full of van owners and you'll see people walking from vehicle to vehicle, checking out the mods, talking about what they like, talking about where they had them done, you know, saying who to call. And you know, when we get out in our van to events or out in the community, we get stopped every time. 
you know, are you guys from Sierra Adventure Vans? You know, could you take a look at this thing on my van? Or what do you think about this new product? If you want to make your rig the rig of your dreams, reach out to us at Sierra Adventure Vans. We'll take care of you.